Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about bacterial vaginosis, commonly known as BV or bacterial vaginitis. Now, for most of you, I would like to let you know that it's a common vaginal infection that affects many women, but is often overlooked. I'm Dr. Christina Hammer, and let's dive into the topic today. First off, what causes bacterial vaginosis vaginitis? Well, it's caused by an overgrowth of certain types of bacteria in the vagina, which can upset the natural bounds of the bacteria in the vagina. Factors that can increase the risk of developing BV, bacterial vaginosis, include, but are not limited to, douching. Using scented products such as soaps with a higher pH than our vagina is usually accustomed to, bubble baths, or even sprays, in or around the vagina, having multiple sexual partners, not using condoms during sexual intercourse, hormonal changes like during pregnancy or even menopause. So what are some of the symptoms of BV? Well, the most common symptoms of bacterial vaginitis are a strong fishy odor. Something just doesn't seem or smell right. Even it intensifies during uh, intercourse or even after intercourse. Maybe it's a thin gray or white vaginal discharge that doesn't seem quite normal to what you usually experience. Maybe you have some burning or itching around the vagina pain during uh, sex or urination. If you experience any of these symptoms, it's very important to see your healthcare provider to get a proper diagnosis. To diagnose a BV, your healthcare provider will likely take a sample of your vaginal discharge and examine it under a microscope, as well as do a test such as a whiff test where we put a special chemical on there and if it exhibits a certain odor, it's positive for BV, as well as perform a pH test because with BV, we usually have a more alkalinic pH, as well as send it for a culture to confirm the diagnosis. Now, let's talk about natural ways to prevent and treat bacterial vaginosis vaginitis. Well, there are some natural ways to prevent bacterial vaginosis, such as avoiding douching, as well as scented products in and around the vagina. Meaning, there are special soaps one in particular that I like to use is the Summer Eve's wipes as well as wash. Why do I like that? It's because that formula is specially formulated for the low pH of our vagina. Other soaps that we use to clean our skin has a higher pH, so that can throw off the balance of our pH for our vaginal tissue. As well as wearing cotton underwear or loose fitting pants to allow proper circulation down below. Practicing safe sex by using condoms. Eating a healthy balanced diet. Now, as for treatment with antibiotics, they're usually prescribed by your healthcare provider to help clear up that infection. However, there are some natural remedies that may help alleviate some symptoms, such as probiotics. Why are probiotics important? Eating foods that are high in probiotics, like yogurt and kefir, may help promote healthy bacteria in the vagina. Tea tree oil. Tea tree oil is great. Just by adding a few drops of the tea tree oil to a warm bath, it may help reduce the inflammation and itching that is caused by BV. Apple cider vinegar. Adding a cup of apple cider vinegar to a warm bath may help restore the natural pH in the vagina. It's important to note that if you're experiencing symptoms of bacterial vaginitis or vaginitis, it's best to see your healthcare provider for a proper diagnosis and treatment plan. Now, let's talk about some medications that can be prescribed, including antibiotics like metronidazole, clindamycin, or even boric acid supplements. So that's all for today's video. Please like and subscribe. Remember to take care of your vaginal health and don't hesitate to see your healthcare provider if you have any healthcare concerns. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.